Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Y once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can render cinematic camera from Unreal Engine. Yes, today's video will be in Unreal Engine. So without wasting any time, let's jump to screen. Okay, as you can see over here, I have my sequencer open and Unreal open and you can see I am having a very good cinematic camera and cinematic animation over here, right? So let me take you through how I did it. Okay, so here is my scene setup and as you can see, I have placed my camera around this table, right? And what I want, I want to focus this element, right? So there are multiple ways to do focusing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my camera, which is this camera, Cine Camera Actor Day 5. And in detail panel, what I can do, I can change focusing method. By default, it will be manual. So it's pretty easy to fix manual. You can pick over here and you can pick this thing or pick any, any element you want to focus like this or you can pick up from here as well. But I prefer to do tracking, right? And once your tracking has been selected, you need to choose what element you want to focus, right? So I can click this and I can choose this element. So wherever I'm moving my camera, my camera will only focus my selected elements right now next target is to animate my camera so in unreal engine if you want to animate anything you have to go to sequencer right already i made a video on sequencer if you want you can go and you can check so to go to sequencer i will go over here and i will add level sequence right so already i have made it but uh, let me rename it like cam nm and hit save once your sequencer has been saved you'll have this so i need to add my camera to sequencer so in outliner i'm going to type cine camera actor i have to select my camera which is cine camera actor day 5 i'm going to drag and drop over here pretty simple so till now we don't have any kind of animation so what i'm going to do i'm going to start animating things so this is my timeline. So preferably I used to give some 10, 20 frames buffer frame. And here I can animate anything like camera components, camera aperture, focal length, anything you can animate. So in transform, I want to animate location and rotation, right? So for the safer side, I'm going to put key on every transformation properties. And from last frame, again, I will give some buffer frame like 10 frame buffer and I'm going to change my camera. So exit from camera mode and my camera is selected. And while my camera is selected, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it little right side, something like that. And apart from location, I want to animate my rotation as well. So once I'm going to rotate my camera and I want to keep my subject aligned, something like that. And after doing everything, I'm going to put one more key on transformation as well. So this will be my start frame and this will be my end frame, right? So let me hit G on keyboard to enter my game mode. And if I'm going to see through my camera, which is day five, and if I'm going to play it, let me show it to you. If I'm going to play it, it's animating pretty nicely, right? But something is missing. Right now, I can see my animation is pretty linear. I want to add some randomness, which will give you a feel of cinematic camera animation, right? So I want to add some sort of camera shake or noise in my camera animation, right? So how I can do that? It's pretty simple. I'm going to hit control and space bar to activate my content browser. And here in camera shake, I'm going to create one blueprint class. And in blueprint class, I'm going to select shake something like that. Camera shake basic camera shake base. And I'm going to select it and hit select. And I can rename it cam nm YouTube, right? And 
just double click on it so what will happen first time whenever you are going to click on that particular blueprint this window typical blueprint editor will open but we don't need this what we need just close it open your content browser one more time and double click one more time we want this right so first thing first you need to select root shake pattern on which pattern you want to add shake to the camera and that will be my Perlin noise camera shake pattern right you can search it as well once this is selected few more options will open first thing first you need to change timing because you want your camera shake for entire sequence right so you need to put duration to zero because you don't want to restrict your camera animation or camera shake for one second right after doing that what i can do i can just compile and save i'm not going to change anything and let's see how we can add this camera shake to my sequencer it's pretty simple i'm going to select my camera component cine camera actor day 5 and here in track just click and in camera shake you can see all my three blueprints so my uh, recent one is cam anim youtube right so i'm going to select it and as i'm going to select it you can see my another camera shake layer came but it is starting from the place where my cursor is need not to worry you can change it something like that and you can drag till whatever frame you want right and if i'm going to play it i have added some sort of shake to my camera animation as well can you see that but i want to control that shake as well so it's pretty simple again open your content browser double click on your blueprint class and here you can control your location and rotation so by default location amplitude multiplier is one so what it's doing so let me increase it by 10 right just to show you i'm going to compile it save it and if i'm going to play it now you can see the amount of shake is increased now so your multiplier your location multiplier or location amplitude multiplier will increase your amount of shake right how much distance it's covering in shake right so probably i'll put it like uh, 0.5 or something you can play with the numbers and location frequency multiplier will do how fast that shake will happen right that's the simple explanation i can give it to you if you want to control your rotation just go to rotation and probably i'll add some rotation shake as well like 0.6 or something so it will rotate as well along with location right so again i'm going to compile it save it and if i'm going to minimize it you can easily see your camera shake is added to your animation and now it's looking pretty nice and organic so i hope you can use this technique to enhance your camera animation and cinematic rendering from unreal engine and if you think that this video will help you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day